Welcome back to the channel. Today we are met by a Harvard entrance exam question. Now this entrance exam question is solved using the Lambert W function. So before we go on to the entrance exam question, let me define the Lambert W function. Now the Lambert W function is kind of like a cheat code in mathematics. Okay, so when we are dealing with advanced question, and by advanced I mean higher than your high school level questions, when we're meant to find x and x is in the exponent position, like 2 to the power of x here, we are most likely going to have to use the Lambert W function. Now the Lambert W function states that the Lambert W function of x multiplied by e to the power of x is equal to x. Even by just looking at the definition of the Lambert W function, you can kind of see that it is pretty much a cheat code. Now, let's get into the entrance exam question. First things first, let's take this x to the other side. So we get that 2 to the power of x is equal to 5 minus x. Okay, now what if we divide both sides by 2 to the power of x? So let's divide 2 to the power of x divided by 2 to the power of x. Now let's simplify this. So on the left side we have a 1, and that is equal to 5 minus x multiplied by this 2 to the power of x can be written as 2 to the power of negative x because it's in the denominator position. So let's write 2 to the power of negative x. Now, let's treat this 2 as an e so we can get that general look of the Lambert W function. So if this 2 was an e, this exponent must equal the coefficient of the 2 to the power of blah 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 so that we can use the Lambert W function. But in this exponent we're missing a 5. So what can we do to introduce that 5 right here? What we can do is multiply both sides by 2 to the power of 5 because when you multiply with the same base the exponents add up. So let's multiply both sides by 2 to the power of 5. So let's put 2 to the power of 5 multiplied by 1. Now let's uh, simplify this. So 2 to the power of 5 is equal to 5 minus x multiplied by 2 to the power of 5 minus x. Now the, co the exponent is equal to that coefficient. Now we have to just change this 2 into an e. Now what if we write 2 in terms of e and lin? So we know that 2 is equal to e to the power of lin 2 because the e and lin cancel each other out. So let me just divide the board here so we can use the right side. So let's put, let me put a therefore, therefore, uh, 2 to the power of 5, 2 to the power of 5 is equal to 5 minus x multiplied by e to the lin 2 multiplied by 5 minus x. That x looks a bit wobbly. Minus x. This is the same as this equation over here. We just wrote 2 in terms of e and lin. Now we can uh, now look at that exponent. In that exponent, there's an extra lin 2 than the coefficient. The, the exponent no longer equals the coefficient. So we have to multiply both sides by lin 2. So that coefficient looks exactly the same as that exponent. So 2 to the power of 5 multiplied by lin 2 is equal to lin 2 multiplied by 5 minus x multiplied by e to the power of lin 2 multiplied by 5 minus x. Now we can use the Lambert W function on both sides and isolate our x in a way that we can solve it. So we get that, uh, let's say, yeah, so lin 2 multiplied by 5 minus x is equal to the Lambert W function of 2 to the power of 5 multiplied by lin 2. Now, to solve for x, all we have to do is divide both sides by lin 2 and subtract both sides by 5 and multiply both sides by negative 1. So if we do all of that all together, we get that x is equal to the negative w function of 2 to the 5 multiplied by lin 2 
over lin2 plus 5. This is our x. And just like that, we have just solved a Harvard entrance exam question. Now, if we plug this into a Lambert W function calculator, because this is just this is just a number, all right? This is just the Lambert W function of a constant, which will just give us a number. So if you plug this into a Lambert W function calculator, we will get that x is approximately equal to 1.7156. And just like that, we have just solved a Harvard level question. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. Bye bye.